I don't know how to do this. I, I've got some lashes that I've been meaning to try. Um, I've really filmed this introduction. I've actually filmed the whole thing. But what happened was that like apparently some compression error happened. And the front part didn't film. So I'm doing it again. Okay. The lashes are already out. And pretend that this is... Pretend that everything is in chronological order and this is an actual <laughs> opening. So what happened was that um, I recently, out of pure bottom, got these lashes from Wing Formula. They're a local brand. I'm not sponsored. As much as I would like to be, I'm not sponsored. So I've, I've been looking at them for a while. I've been eyeing them since they opened almost like a few years back. Uh, I saw like, because I follow influencers la, and all the influencers just look damn good at lashes. So I want to look damn good as well. Okay? So like, <laughs> what is wrong with me? I picked up a few of the lashes, uh, uh, Diva, um, which is one of the more popular lashes. Uh, it looks really, really thick and it looks really, really cute. Oh, I think I put it back wrong. Yeah, I put it back wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, I put it back wrong. <laughs> I'll rewind. <laughs> it's supposed to look. <laughs> so, it's definitely a lot thicker than um, your normal, uh, typical natural lashes. Um, usually, if I'm going for like a very natural look, um, I picked this up at Sasa during their huge sale. Okay, these are very, very natural. These are great. These like easy for every day. But this is definitely something that like people will know that you're wearing lashes when you see them. I also picked up like a few other things. Oh my god, it's such a mess. I can't find any. Okay, I found it. Okay. <laughs> I did. I picked up the, the lash applicator and I picked up um, this eyeliner, eyeliner adhesive. I'm terrible, I can't be an influencer. Okay, yeah. I'm not an influencer, I'm just doing this for the shits and giggles. I'm not gonna review the lash applicator. I feel the lash applicator is gonna be like quite straightforward. It's gonna be like every other appli applicator thing there is out there. It's like, you know like mascara wad? Sorry, not mascara wads. The kyap kyap thing for your lashes. <laughs> Lash color. Like, I'm so sorry. Um, I feel like with lash colors and like with things like lash applicators, it's actually quite straightforward use. It's mm, apart from the size, you know, like generally it's just how you use it. Like there's, it's it's not much difference. My opinion, not a professional opinion, okay. But yeah, apart from that, uh, this is where I begin, okay. I, I've got these four lashes and I'm gonna start with Eva. All right, so enjoy the review. <laughs> oh, so strange. Okay, so basically what has happened is um, I've done my brows very badly. Um, I've only put concealer around the eye area, as you can see. Um, didn't do any skincare for a few days. <laughs> um, I did an eye look with my expired Tarte palette, shout out, and uh, eyeliner. Eyeliner, mascara, and I curled it. So um, they recommend doing... They recommend not putting... Um, uh, what's that called? Mascara with the lashes because in that case it will like reduce the number of times you can use them because uh, these again like I repeat they say these are reusable lashes for you to use. Okay? Oops. Moment of truth. So, I, I'm not gonna show you guys because I'm really not good at doing eyeliner. I'm not as good as you think I am. Oof. Oh it smells. I smell like glue. You know what? Like, when you do eyeliner, you have to do like this really strange face. That's what I'm doing. Now for the moment of truth. I like you know how it applies. Like it's it's a very strange feeling. I mean, it's not. Got it. I'm gonna accidentally tear out the lashes. Okay. No clue how to do this. Okay, I'm just. There's probably gonna be someone who's like, yo, you're doing it wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> In case you realize I'm not an influencer. Uh is it sticking? Is it sticking? Ooh, it does stick. That's interesting. Ooh, it is sticky. It does stick. Ooh, ooh, damn. This is very dramatic. Very, very, very dramatic. I don't know if I should have cut the lashes. Ooh, this is so dramatic. Oh it 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 kind of pokes. Don't know, is it me or these are so dramatic? I cannot. Oh, and it sticks on really, really tightly. Actually, like it's not. It's not really budging that much. I feel like I could have gone a bit further. Okay, I can't really see. Okay, obviously you can cover. Oh, this. Is... Okay, wait, wait. I gotta. I gotta readjust. 
Okay, I would say that these are definitely a lot more dramatic than like I I, I thought they were gonna be. Because oh my god, it's so long. I think I could have afforded to like cut a bit of the ends. Lashes are quite long, so you can afford to cut it a bit. I'm not going to because um this is just me trying it out for the first time. I think when I when I use them officially, then after that I'll like I'll cut them off properly. So like I I can't, don't know if you can see, um I've adjusted them so like uh the thick parts only start from the middle part down. So I realized that one thing that I've learned doing makeup over the years is that um when it comes to eye makeup, what you actually want is that you want to open up like the the outer ends of your eyes so that you look brighter and you look nicer. So it's the same concept with eyelashes. So like you kind of want to put the thicker sides at the end and make sure it fans out. So um same trick with eyeliner. With eyeliner, they always say like you always draw the thick part all the way to the middle of your eye. It's the same thing make sure that the the sparse when it begins to get thicker or like in the middle the middle part is when like it's it's mid to it's not middle of the eyelash like your middle isn't the middle of your eyelash it should always be like the thickest to like the thinnest you know like like i don't know how to explain it's just <laughs> I think that's like a really shitty explanation, but I hope it helps. Yeah, but as you can see, it is quite long. So like, I suppose it would fit different eye shapes, but you will need to cut off. Like, I think the ends do get a bit too furry, furry, <laughs> furry for me. So like, um, if I were to wear them out properly, I would cut off a bit of the ends, but I'm not going to do that now because this is just me playing around. Um, okay, let's try the second one now. So now that I've tried it on the first time, the eyeliner adhesive does work and honestly, it sticks on quite well. Like, it, it, I didn't, as you can tell, I didn't struggle. So like, honestly, only thing that I would say is that it's not, the tip is not the best. Because like, it is a felt tip and it's not, it doesn't, okay, when you first try using it, it's not like, it's not super smooth, so it did mess up the eyeliner that I initially drew. Um, I'm a bit wary because I do have um, eyes that are quite sensitive. I wouldn't say that super sensitive. Um, they've, they've taken a lot of shit from me. But I am wary as to whether or not this eyeliner glue will cause um, your eyes to kind of burn a bit. It's, oof. That was a bad application. Ouch! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm terrible. Okay, stick back, stick back, stick back, stick back. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Are you sticking? I can't tell. So definitely you will, I think it's good because I think I always prefer lashes that are bigger than smaller. You, you can see that there's a part hanging off because it's just not attached to my skin because um, I just, it's not. I intentionally kind of had it like, so that it fans out a bit more. I suppose like if I could, I could just kind of like cut off the part so it looks a bit better. Yeah, I think these are one of the thicker lashes. Uh, the lashes really do look good though, honestly. Okay, this is natural lighting now. Okay, I'm bound to look better. The lashes definitely look um, a lot... They, they look long. And I don't mean lengthwise, but I also mean widthwise. So you definitely will have to cut some bits, but that's better. Because um, I feel that longer lashes... Longer lashes! <laughs> Longer lashes in terms of width is always better than like lashes that are a bit too short because um lashes that are a bit too short because I love a trade off thought. Lashes that are a bit too short because you get to trim them. So they're editable, you know that kind of thing. So like there's you can use your phys your scissors and do like physical Photoshop. I, I I think the ends are not glued properly down. But generally like yeah, it sticks on really, really easily. Um, I'm a bit wary about like any burning sensations because I did feel a bit of a tingle when I was using it on the left eye. Mm, not sure if it's waterproof because it did smudge a bit when I touched it, but then again, it's still wet. So you will have to let it dry. It's not immediate drying. So like, yeah, my biggest gripe with it is just the fact that it smells like paint thinner. It smells really weird, but apart from that, I think it's a really good pen. I think it's a pretty good pen. I wouldn't change it out with my current eyeliner. 
I love my current eyeliner. Really easy. It gives me like the simplest and the thinnest uh, lines. Um, I wouldn't say this comes close yet because the felt tip can be a bit hard to work with. But the eyeliner, the black eyeliner is pretty good. And honestly, I'm also impressed with the lashes. It does look quite cute. Look with them, I cannot stop looking at them. This is so weird. This is so weird. <laughs> That's it from me, trying out Pink Formula Lashes Okay, um, I'm gonna take them off because it's almost 6 and I wanna go exercise I was just doing this for fun Alright then, see you! Bye bye! <laughs> um, anyway, so um, I picked up a few, a few of uh, bleh, I can't speak, I can't speak Kind of as like a post video kind of segment Um, this was how I filmed the start because I was just look, it's a ratchet, okay guys? I don't have I don't have proper camera equipment. This is this is this this is my lighting setup. <laughs> and then this was where I put um the camera at just now. And this is my this is my this is my terrible table. This is my terrible table. Ratchet filming guys. Ratchet. Love bro represent even though I was only there for one sem. Bye! <laughs>